Hey everybody, this is Heidi House again with another installment of Alien Advice. And uh, what I wanted to do was to address something today that I hear of and receive all, all too often um, as far as kids and teens that write me um, telling me about their paranormal experiences and how they are not believed by their parents or those closest to them. And for me, it's, it's truly heartbreaking um, that so many kids are in that predicament and uh, feel that they have to reach out to someone like me on the web, you know, thousands of miles away probably, and, uh, you know, just to be believed, that, that they have to go so far, just to be believed, just to feel like they've been heard. Um, you know, believe it or not, a lot of us that have experienced paranormal phenomena have experienced things when we were kids, and we weren't believed either. Um, I'd been through quite a bit as far as uh, growing up in a haunted house and being told <laughs> by my dad, oh, there's no ghosts in here, you know, nothing's going on, and only to find when I'm an adult that my dad experienced quite a bit himself, but he didn't want to freak us kids out or, you know, my, my stepmother, and uh, so he tried to be strong, you know, so, I mean, parents have their reasons for what it is that they do, and, and uh, you know, maybe they, they're hoping that, uh, <laughs> that uh, you know, if they don't talk about it, you don't talk about it, that, you know, they just poo-poo it and all and stuff. But, um, you know, I wanted to put out there that, you know, you're not alone, that uh, there are many of us that have been in your same shoes. And uh, don't feel like in order to feel sane, you have to have somebody next to you that says, hey, I saw that too, you know. I mean, it does help, though, let me tell you, don't get me wrong, because I did have my sister next to me um, who actually, um, you know, witnessed some things with along with me, which helped console me, you know. <laughs> so it wasn't like, oh my God, I just saw that myself and I was going to around to, you know, bear witness to it to help me keep my sanity. Um, but still, it was tough when your own parents are not quite uh, on the same page as you saying, you know, oh yeah, that's happening. But uh, again, you know, do you become more unstable in your fear because your parents are freaked out too? You know, who knows. But, um, you know, I just want to say though, you know, with, with the, the teens and the kids out there that are writing me, and thank you so much for reaching out to me. It, it's, I feel honored that you feel that you can reach out to me, and you can. You know, I'll do my best. I, I get a lot of emails. I do try to answer as many as I can and uh, keep writing the books that I'm trying to write and put out there as well. But, um, you know, it, it's, uh, some of the parents are, are aiming to put you in therapy and, you know, hope that uh, this will get you straight and not have these experiences, um, you know, you have to follow through with it. I mean, it, it's it's not uh, something that I suggest for parents, you know, if they ask me, you know, should I put this kid in therapy, you know, to try to, you know, see if they're crazy or not. Um, you know, parents are, are, they love you, you know, so of course they're going to try to do their best to try to solve what the problem is. So many people have not experienced these things and they don't know how to address it. I mean, I, I give you, you know, the parents kudos for even trying, for even listening, you know. They think there's a problem. Well, there is a problem if there's a ghost or a shadow or alien, you know, going through your house. Yes, of course. You know, is it in your head? Well, that's for somebody to determine. And yes, there are people who have issues out there that are seeing things. Um, but I think oftentimes, yes, I, I think that people get diagnosed as uh, having a problem when they don't. Um, so it goes both ways. Who's to know? Talk to the therapist. If you've got an appointment, <laughs> you might as well make use of them. You know, and talk to them about the stress of school while you're at it. You know, whatever. But, uh, you know, but if you know what you know, you've had others witness things with you. You've had friends sitting right alongside you as a lot of... Uh, uh, people have written me, teens and kids, you know, my friend saw it, my sister saw it too. You know, if you know that, people know themselves, and you've seen, you've seen things with others, don't doubt yourself then. Okay, you're, you've seen it, you're having psychic episodes, you're seeing futuristic things, you know. Uh, you know, you know yourself, don't doubt it then, you know. If you're able to accept it, great. Your parents might not. Your parents might not accept a lot of things in your life, you know, and you, you are just hitting the tip of the iceberg with that because your parents will not approve of a lot of things. So, um, you know, I say keep strong, keep positive. Don't let things pull you down. 
Um, you know, with these underage people writing me, you know, legally, I can't tell you disobey your parents, you know. Um, so, and uh, it's, it's hard to, you know, legally tell you what to do in any regard, you know. I have to say this is for entertainment only, you know, um, you know, just to keep things legit. But I, I, I want to reach out and just let you know you're not alone. Um, again, I feel honored that, you know, the kids out there have felt like they can reach out to me. And you can, you know, I would continue to, to write and vent it. It's even therapeutic, you know. Sometimes I, I write letters, you know, if I'm angry at something or, you know, I'll just write it out just to be able to get it out even. Uh, even though it gets sent off nowhere, it feels good. So, uh, but know that I am reading your letters. Um, I can't always, you know, respond because it, it gets to be too much at times. Um, but uh, again, keep positive keep praying. Uh, if something negative is going on that you know is, uh, you know, a real paranormal event going on and you're a kid, you have a room in your parents' house, bless your room. It's your room. Put a bottle of spring water and some sunlight for a couple hours. Take a cross that you could wear as a necklace. Dip it in the water. Go to the furthest corner of your room. Make the sign of the cross and say, like, in Jesus' name, please keep all negative things out of here. Splash a little of the water, every corner, closets, seal your door, bedroom door last, wear your necklace for a few nights, and nothing will come in your room. You know, and maybe if your parents are open to it, they'll bless their own home too. So, um, just just keep it, keep, it, uh, keep it alive and keep your thoughts alive and <laughs> keep your, 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 your sanity, you know. Don't let things drag you down. So, I really hope that this helped, um, and uh, again, you're not alone. Thank you for writing, and thanks for everybody for listening. Take care.